Sure. Uh, Dave, last home test of the Australian year anyway. Um, tell me about the, the big news is Greg Holmes coming back. Can you believe that a, a luncheon would turn into a, a test recall? <laughs> um, yeah, oh, look, uh, he's done well. Um, obviously with Alan heading home, with uh, Pony injured, uh, you know, we wanted an experienced tight head from a scrummaging perspective and um, so, you know, we brought him into camp in Perth and he's been with us for the last few weeks here and uh, he's gone really well. You know, he's, uh, you know, we think he's ready to go, he'll do a job for us. Is this, is this a bit of a, um, uh, like, there's a lot of players playing all around the world and there's a lot of them that are younger than Greg Holmes, who's 38. Um, is it also a bit of a case that that guy's, you know, age is no barrier? Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, he's, he's got the advantage of being here too, isn't he? So he's come back home uh, to finish off his career and uh, he's played good footy for the force and so that's sort of put him in a position where he is now. So uh, all that we're at from is, you know, when the team was announced, I, I didn't tell Homer that he was in the mix. So he was already applauding for the guy he thought was on the bench and and uh, got a bit of a shock from it. So that, that was a massive roar. Uh, from the lads because uh, you know, he's such a popular character. So um, yeah, like we're really pleased for him. But you know, it's it's not a sentimental selection. It's it's based on what we need, and we think he can do the job for us. And can you just um, just get, bring us into that lunch at, at the Bledisloe Cup? Kind of the conversations then, and, and what point in time you actually thought, oh hey, no no, we don't want you just to come in here to get some coaching experience, but maybe actually um, train, and then you know who knows. Um, yeah, look, obviously, uh, you know, we, we knew that we were going to lose Alan at, at some stage. Uh, we were having conversations. We, you know, we can't get anyone out of New South Wales without quarantining or, or Victoria without quarantining at that stage. And um, So, yeah, we're just confident because of his experience. He could certainly hold up his end of the scrum and, and you know, we felt he needed a little bit of time to get in tune and get in nick uh, to, to play the sort of game we want to play. So... Um, yeah, look, it's, uh, I, I suppose he's as surprised as anyone, but, um, but you know, pretty cool. He's certainly worked hard since he's been in here and we're very comfortable with the decision. Good day, Dave. Jeff. Uh, this weekend, uh, more about uh, notching another win, or have you put it on the guys that you're looking forward, uh, or looking for them this week to make a bit of a statement? Oh, we haven't really talked about a statement. We've we've constantly talked about, you know, um, you know the quality of our performance, and uh, we look, we did a lot of good things in the weekend. We we felt that we we had a lot of ball and a lot of uh, territory in the first half. We thought that would that would pay dividends late in the game and uh, created a lot of opportunities late and, and didn't finish them off. So that there was a bit of frustration there, but. Uh, you also got to give credit to the Pumas. You know their their scramble defence is, is outstanding. They um, the Africans split them a fair few times in their two tests and 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 barely got the ball over the line. They just um, uh, you know they they certainly work hard for each other defensively. So, but you know we, we've got to be better in that, and that's what we're looking for uh, a real clinical performance. Dave, number number six, you got another. Number six this week. It's obviously a position that you've chopped and changed both last year and this year. Well, what was the thinking there with um, bringing Pete? Obviously, you've been you've been impressed with Pete off the bench, but why did you think it was time to give him a start? And um, and what was the thinking behind Rob not being in the twenty three altogether? Yeah, so um, we're actually very happy with Rob last week. Um, yeah, he's a big man who who gave us a bit of go forward, uh, good skill set. Um, we wanted to reward Pete. He's been outstanding off the bench. We're keen to get Sean in the mix. Um, yeah, so it's unfortunately Rob misses out. It's you know, we, we, like I say, we're happy with his performance. We've learnt a bit more about him. He's learnt a fair bit about himself at this level, and his job, you know, will be to apply pressure for selection um, over in Europe. And just one more from me on on the number ten um, situation. Now, are, are you guys in a position now where you're ready to make a call on, or is it the end of the spring tour where you'd like to make a call on 
whether Quades, I suppose, is good enough, Nick, and, and you think he'll be able to get to 2023? Is it like, do you think that long term he's now, it's just a weekly thing now, he's, he, that he's the number 10? Do you think he's a, a realistic chance to be there in, in two years' time? Oh, look, I, he could definitely be there physically. Um, yeah, there's no guarantees with that, though. I mean, we've obviously um, you know, got James O'Connor sitting on the bench this week who um, is equally as experienced and and obviously has been out with injury. Um, but what we've got is genuine competition for places, so uh, that's been great. Um, we've also got Noor in the background who uh, trained superbly today. Um, so, you know, he's learning and growing and, and, and it's been good for the group. So... You know, we're not we're not we're not trying to think too far ahead. Um, you know, like I, I have no doubt that you know, players like uh, Quaid and and James, you know, they've got plenty more footy in them. Uh, Dave, uh, can I just ask you? You've got Sean McMahon coming off the bench for this game. Have you clarified what he might be available for on the uh, spring tour away from his uh, Japanese club? Yeah, no, he's available. For, for everything, the Japan game and the three in Europe? Yes. Okay. Uh, was that just none doubt this week or has that been, um, been finalised for a while? No, it's been finalised for a while. So Suntory have been fantastic. Um, obviously, Samu's there as well. And, um, yeah, they're very keen for them to play a bit of international footy and uh, works out nicely um, based on their uh, schedule. So um, really appreciate their support. So that's full involvement for Samu as well, based on that uh, blueprint? Yep. Yep, OK. Thanks, Dave. Is, Dave, is that, is that the same case for Quaid? Uh, yes. Dave, can I ask uh, your reaction when you heard that the Perm is going to be missing a few guys? Pablo is obviously very important to what they do. How does that change the, the task this weekend? Uh, that's no change to us at all. Um, we've got to make a massive focus on us. Um, what, what we know is the, the Pumas, you know, they've been away from our home for a long time. They haven't played a home test for a long time. They've, they've uh, obviously discussed that, and I, I think there's plenty of motivating factors for them. Um, so, you know, we're, 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 still, um, we're still trying to grow our game, and um, so there's, there's massive focus on us. And, um, you know, whoever we end up in front of us, we'll, we'll deal with on the day. But, uh, look, who knows what will happen in the next couple of days. Dave, can you um, just confirm what COVID restrictions are you guys, your team, in at the moment, given the, the recent um, positive case in Townsville, the state, Grand Chancellor? Have you guys had to tighten down your situation? Yep. Yeah, so we're, uh, we're pretty much in a bubble now. Um, like, well, obviously we've been in a hotel, we've been wearing masks everywhere. Um, but yeah, so, so now, now we're pretty much locked down, we can train here, which we're fortunate with the quality of the facilities, we just walk outside. Um, but yeah, we've, uh, we've all been tested again today, which we've had regular testing throughout. Um, yeah, so yeah, obviously we, we, we're, we're doing everything we can to ensure that you know, the games go ahead and, and that we're following all the expected protocols. So just to clarify, today as opposed to, say, yesterday, yeah. you're, you're now just able to move from your room to training or room to, to meals, something like that, whereas yesterday was it a little bit freer? Yeah, well, the protocols were different yesterday. So um, no, we've discouraged, um, but we'll, we'll pr predominantly most people have been in all the time. Um, you know, at that stage you could have visitors and and so on, but um, all of that's been stopped, so no one can come in, no one can go out. Dave, right at that point, so sorry, I'll just a quick follow on, and then I'll leave it to you. Just to follow on on that, Dave, prior prior to these restrictions tightening down again, were players or, or, or your players, your staff allowed to travel around in, in, in this vicinity, or was it still sort of confined to the hotel? No, we weren't locked in. Um, we went as a group um, you know, down to Broad Beach and did a promo on the beach, which was which was uh, social distancing practice. Um, uh, obviously, the Gold Coast Council have been fantastic and 
and so it was a bit of a promo shoot down there. But well, what we've found, in, um, which has been a bit of a frustration, I guess, we're in Western Australia and uh, we're able to do a lot of uh, community engagement. It's obviously been really difficult to do that in Queensland because of um, the COVID regulations. So um, it, it changes constantly. We've, we've had a couple of times, even in last week uh, or the week before, uh, when there was a couple of cases somewhere in, in Queensland. And so we had a couple of days where no one was in, no one was out. So it's, it's been a constant. We, we adjust uh, based on um, the expectations. Thanks, Dave. Dave, was it a difficult team to, uh, to pick, uh, trying to balance uh, giving some rest to some of the players who've, uh, who had a lot of work on a lot of, uh, of game time and giving time to others and also ensuring that uh, you continue winning? Yeah, like we've picked a side that we think is best for this weekend. Um, some of the changes have been made on, on form, uh, form of... Um, the guys coming in or, or a couple of guys who we weren't as happy with on the weekend. Um, a couple of them have been changes based on, on workload or opportunity. Uh, there's not a lot of um, yeah, difference between a handful of our positions. So you know, someone like Jake Gordon coming in, he's, he's been outstanding training. Um, hasn't been involved since uh, the third test against France. And uh, Nick White and Tate McDermott have grabbed their opportunities and had a stranglehold there and uh, yeah, Tate's had a great year, uh, we're keen to give uh, Jake a bit of a sniff uh, going into this weekend so um, that's the reason for the change but um, yeah oh, look we've got guys who have been training the house down and deserving an opportunity, uh, we still want to pick a side that you know still reflects earning the right to play and, and uh, gives us a good chance of winning in the weekend. Dave, can I ask you about Marika? Um, he's been such a big part of this team uh, in terms of what he brings, his energy and, and his effect on the side. So what's the message uh, you're giving to Geordie uh, this week? Yeah, if you watch Marika, and oh, I guess we have the luxury of, of looking at footage from a variety of angles, but his, his work ethic is phenomenal. Um, you yeah, know, man of very high speed meters. He runs every time he's chasing kicks or uh, kickoffs. Um, his ability to get back, his ability to get on the other side of the field, and um, so so that's what we've talked to Geordie about. Um, I, I think it's a big focus of Geordie's game. We know he's got a great skill set. Um, you know, he needs to work a lot harder off the ball, and he's got aspirations of being a fifteen, and so that's that's a big focus for him. And he's certainly trained that way uh, this week. He's um, certainly not chained to the 15 metre channel. He's been all over the park and uh, prepared well. So, you know, we're, that, that's the expectation of Geordie in the weekend. And, and Dave, it's not often a bloke as skinny as I am is interested in front row forwards. But um, regarding Pone Farmacili, um, how is he tracking injury wise? And maybe just to comment on, on Tom Robertson too, because I thought he was all right in his limited minutes too. Yeah, Pone is, is close, but not quite. He'd be high risk, is, is what the medics turned him um, this weekend. So it was always touch and go. Um, you know, the last um, rugby championship game was, was the, um, I guess, the desire, but um, he's not quite there. Um, yeah, look, look, Tom was really good. Um, oh, we just think, you know, we've got, he's predominantly played loose here the last four years. Uh, we think he could hold up a scrum. Uh, we just think Greg gives us uh, more experience and nous um, in that tight head role. And, um, you know, that's an area where we think the Argentinians will try and come at us. And um, so, you know, we, we want to make sure we're really solid there.